Hi, everybody. It's Michelle and Brian here with Stop Being Sold, a community with a mission to show you how to stop being sold products you don't need, to show, stop being sold products you don't understand, and stop being a transaction so you can become a more informed consumer. So, Brian, we're covering today. I'm really excited for this video, how to stop being sold life insurance quotes. It's kind of a a big life insurance is a big topic and then also getting a quote for it is a whole nother ballgame. So before we dive in, if you all like this content, uh, uh, we'd love a subscribe and we'd also love you to hit the like button so that more people um, can find our videos. So Brian, let's talk. Let's, let's dive into it right now. Um, life insurance. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the process of getting it. Uh, right? <laughs> right? Right? It's a thing. It's a thing. So you know, it's funny, Michelle, uh, in, you know, being an advisor for the last almost 23 years now, um, I got snookered into selling life insurance mm -hmm. um, back when I first got started. I didn't come into the business as a life insurance agent. I, my mom was actually laughing when I said I was selling life insurance now. But the company I went to work for at that time, I couldn't do investments and get my securities exam unless I got my life insurance class passed first. So here we go. Now we're doing life insurance, whatever. But, um, you know, it, we've been able to help a lot of people over the years, but the biggest mistake I see out there is being sold life insurance quotes. And, you know, here's what, here's what I mean by that. You know, if you go into Google today and you type in the word life insurance quotes, right? And all of a sudden there's a bunch of ads that come underneath of it. And then, then you're scrolling through the ads just to get to information about life insurance, right? Um, Google on a monthly basis, 40,000, over 40,000 searches a month for that word, life insurance quotes. And then you see all these ads. They're all competing to be in that top position because no right. one wants to page two of Google to look at stuff, right? Well, these guys compete. And you know, right now, the average cost per click for you just to click on one of their ads is over $70 a click. Can you imagine that? Well, just to you, click, just to click. Just to click. So, Michelle, if you're spending $70, and I'm, I see your ad, and I'm clicking on it five times or whatever, and you're paying all this money out, don't you think you need to get something back in return pretty quick? Sure. I'm going to make money as fast as I can. So here's what most of them companies are that are competing for that top position. They're not a life insurance company. They're a life insurance lead generation company. Right. And, what they're, and they're selling those leads. Reselling the leads. So every time you go to their site and you fill out all this information, what you're doing, Michelle, is trading your personal information for tons of competing agents and companies to start hounding you with phone calls, texts, yep. and emails. Forever. They don't stop. <laughs> they don't stop until you either buy or you die. That's, That's scary taught in the sales world and you you actually get so frustrated michelle that to the point that uh, you just forget about buying life insurance and you learn that from that one mistake and you'll never do it again you'll never put your information on there again well that's a problem it's a yeah. huge problem because you went there for a reason you went there looking for life insurance you had a reason in your mind for getting it and with stop being sold We've actually created the ultimate life insurance guide. And in there, we're going to align you with the tools, three steps, three simple steps to teach you everything you know about buying life insurance and the process that you need to be in the driver's seat and control right. the situation. This is your life insurance. You wanted it for a reason. So step number one, Inside here, we're going to ask you, why do you need life insurance? What was your main reason for hopping on Google and typing in life insurance quotes? What were you trying to accomplish with it? Did you have a family member that passed away and there wasn't enough income to take care of them? Do you need life insurance to pay off debt? God forbid something happened to you. 
And, you know, in the middle of a pandemic that we're going, you know, and, you know people start thinking that was that, oh my gosh, what if something happened in your day? So step number one basically goes into deep questioning of why do you actually need it? What was your purpose? Um, step number two, understanding how much life insurance you actually need. You know, it's funny because most insurance companies, we've always taught that um, in the industry that uh, seven to 10 times your income is the amount of life insurance that you need to replace your income, right? And well, you start adding that up today, and let's say your income is 50,000, you, you need 350 to half a million dollars of life insurance. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, that's, that's the way they teach agents to sell life insurance. So we're going to go through, look, we're going to strategize on replacing income, paying off your debt. If you're just looking for final expenses, we're going to teach you all that inside the workbook. It's really interactive too, because you'll be able to just type in your information and save it. And what's nice about that is when you save that PDF, you're ready to go. You're ready to go buy. Now we're going to teach you in, in one of the next videos how to find the right advisor that matches up with your actual needs. Right. And real quick, everyone, we've got this, we've got this guide, the ultimate life insurance guides below this video. Just click the link and it's yours. It's yours. And okay, so let's go to step three. This is the most important and the critical part of the process. Who are you? Mm. And what I mean by that is, who are you in the underwriter's eyes? So if I got, if I, if I'm an insurance company, Michelle, and you're feeling that you want to buy life insurance from me, I'm going to be saying, okay, Michelle, I need you to answer these questions. And some of these questions are going to be um, like a medical questionnaire. Sure, sure. Are you on any prescriptions? Do you have any family history of diseases? Uh, you got heart Do you drive too fast? <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Don't forget the drive-in. People right, yeah. forget about that one because you can actually be rated on life insurance this guy was years ago, years ago, that was in the past, um, for buying life insurance based on your driving record. So be careful on that. Um, also, your age, your height, your weight, that kind of stuff. That's the first part of the underwriting process. Right. But the second part, this is what determines what type of policy you're going to receive. And that is the medical exam. We're going to prep you for a medical exam and right. so you're going to laugh about this one, but in my history, 20 over 22 years doing this, um, a lot of the males will not get the blood work done. They're scared of the needle. The and needles, right. Yeah. Yeah. They're scared. To get that. The needle. <laughs> so that's why non-medical exam life insurance was created because there were so many people, they wanted life insurance, but they wouldn't take the exam. So right. um, they didn't want that part of it. So they draw blood and this and the other. But um, this will, the guy will walk you through that process. And the more information that you're willing to give and they're willing to find about your medical records, your blood type, if you have diabetes, all that kind of stuff, the more information that they find about you, the better that the underwriters can make a decision on finding you the best policy that meets your needs. So there's a lot of reason to it. But a lot of people like and say, we'll just sell non-medical life insurance, knowing that if you took the exam, you could qualify for some of the best rates there are out there today. So that's Got what it. a new advisor that's really working for you will help you through the process. If you awesome. get download this guide and you fill it out, you now have the information you need to go out there and shop the rates and no one will sell you a life insurance policy. You will now purchase the policy that you truly need. Got it. And so I want to go over those three real quick again. So number one, you need to ask, you need to know why you need the life insurance in the first place. Yes. Second, understand how much you need. And the third one is understand who you are in the eyes of the under, or like who are you, right? In the eyes of the underwriters. And exactly. so the more you, the more information you have available for them, oftentimes the better rates you could get. You're exactly right. Okay, wonderful. This is awesome. Okay, great. So um, here's my question to you. So 
and I fill out this guide. I have, a, I, I know these three questions now, right? The next thing, what's next, right? Where do you go if you don't want to, you know, stop shopping for quotes is what you said instantly, right? So instead of going to, you know, online and filling out some generic quote that then gives you a phone call from, you know, a lot of, a lot of people trying to sell you something like what's the, what is the process after, after you've gone through this and you know where you are? Okay. Now you know who you are. You now know why you need life insurance, how much you need and who you are in the underwriting process. Now it's time for you to shop for an advisor that meets your needs. So think about this, there's independent advisors out there that will sell for a multitude of companies, which is a very good option for you, especially when you're retrofitted with all this information in here, you're ready to buy, you're, you're qualified you're ready to go out there and purchase a policy. Now you want to find the best advisor for you, or you may find a company that may be your best fit based on the quotes and what you, the way you've answered. Our website, stopbeingsold.com will guide you in that direction. The key is first, get the guide. Understand who you are, how much you need, and who you are in the underwriting process. From there, On stopbeingsold.com, you'll be able to research and find local advisors that can sell you the policy. And, and, you know, some advisors are licensed in multiple states. So if you're not worried about meeting a local advisor or anything, you can do most of it over the phone today. And, you know, some of you may recognize a good brand name of a company that we will review on the site also. And you say, you know what? I like that company. I see their commercials all the time. Maybe I'll buy from them. What's nice is, you're in the driver's seat. Yeah, like, it, yes. exactly. And you understand what you're being sold. Exactly. And why. And, and why. why. <laughs> and why. You're actually purchasing it moving forward. And no one will take advantage of or sell you something you do no longer need. Fantastic. Awesome. All right. So if you like this video, please give us the thumbs up. Give us a like be great and also subscribe if you like this content we do have a bunch more content for you to check out um everything ranging from annuities to investments to 401ks and 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 even more life insurance information so or insurance information i should say so thanks brian for clearing this up and don't forget scroll below the video and the link is there for the ultimate life insurance guide thanks michelle thanks everybody